team third space doing our cupping. We are 30 days out. 30 days. <laughs> Here comes John with the water. Yep. <laughs> All right. Hey, good morning. Third Space Coffee is coming along so well. Look at this. So today we're gonna do a little bit of coffee tasting. We're doing today, how's it gonna go? We've so, got little, Makosha. We got Makosha, Tribal Soul. So Makosha is here. Okay. Tribal Soul is here. Um, Guatemala is here. He put mm -hmm. numbers to it too. Okay. okay. In order, uh, as that in order, order of like you'll have stronger coffee to technically lighter coffee. Yeah. Oh, nice. So the espresso, okay. the Makosha's espresso one is the one that it's gonna be more had more crema, has a little bit more of a heavier roast, so it shines over everything. That one I know good right here, you know. So we're we're all good. Awesome. Oh yes, all of the coffee tasting. 18 multiplied, mm -hmm. so 18 grams of coffee multiplied by 16 grams of water. You're gonna actually add. 288 grams of Six. water to this. For those who don't know, Jose Miguel is the third founder of Third Space Coffee. He works closely with Ogapa Roasters out of Quapaw Nation, and so he brought some coffee for us to try, and we got super caffeinated. Then Don and I went to go work on the house. We are using this beautiful laminate wood flooring. It is the apple wood flooring, and it's gonna look beautiful in our master bedroom, in the hallways, and in our other bedroom. Safety right. first. We have. Oh, okay, gotcha. You're lefty. I know, right? <laughs> I'm never a convenient slut if you haven't learned that. <laughs> Using our vinyl hardwood. Sly helping us out today. Yeah. <laughs> the master, the expert. So what should people look for if they're doing it themselves with this vinyl flooring? The main thing is like right here, if you try to go uh, put this side first and then try to put this way, it's it's not gonna go all the way in here. Oh yeah. And but the first thing is if you go the other way then you just get they snap real easy and you won't have no trouble putting it together. That makes sense. Mallet. This is the best one, yeah. Nice. So you can damage it. And this way it's gonna go much faster. And with two hands, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll be done the next one. I just cheap labor. gotta make sure it's thin in. Mm-hmm. And then up. Uh, yeah, this one was Really tough. Took some, took some effort. There were lots of challenges, that's for sure. Hopefully I have to slide. So anyway, I decided to start painting. And this is what I thought painting as a renovator would look like. Definitely not what it looked like. Renovating has been such a learning curve and I've really enjoyed it. Do I think that I would do this again? Maybe not for a little while, but I think I caught the bug a little bit. At least enough to show you some before and after pictures of what we've been working on here at the house. And of course for me, the best part about coming home after a long day is dog snuggles. 